Hey, how's it going everybody? The Accidental Survivor here. And I want to welcome you to my first ever Survive the Nights tips, tricks, hints, and guide of how to craft and do different items to make your experience in Survive the Nights a little bit easier and a little bit better to understand. And what we're going to be covering today is how to craft, utilize, refuel, all that stuff, a propane fire trap. So uh, some of the items you're going to need to do this is you're going to need a lighter, some kind of lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and take that up. You're going to need a hacksaw, and you're going to need an adjustable wrench. You also need to be in proximity to a large workbench. I've got one here. Some of the uh, the crafting material you're going to require is you're going to need at least one pro. Thought we had a zombie coming. <laughs> you're going to need at least one propane tank to make the fire trap, and another one to fill it up. So I've got two here. Now it doesn't matter what kind of fuel is inside the propane tank when you craft a fire trap. I would say the least amount of fuel in a propane tank, the better if you're going to use it for crafting. Because when you make that propane fire trap, the fuel, whatever fuel is inside, goes away. It'll all become zero. So I've got one here that's, uh, this one right here has got 20 uh, units of fuel, and this one has 13. So I'm going to utilize this one to go ahead and craft the propane fire trap. You're also going to need a rubber hose, and you're going to need some angle iron. You just need one of each. Now here, Go into the workbench. You just simply go to the craft menu. You're going to search propane fire trap. There it is. And you can see here the items needed. You need a hacksaw, a large workbench, hacksaw adjustable wrench, a propane tank, rubber hose, and angle iron. And if you saw, like I said, the the um, propane tank. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. Ooh, I'm glad I checked that. Let's go ahead and drop that. I do not want to utilize the wrong propane tank. So we'll go ahead and drop that one. We'll take this one. There we go. Now let's go back here. Okay, so yeah, the propane tank I got, you see it's got 13. I've got everything I needed. I'm gonna go ahead and craft that, and it's done. So now you can see in my inventory, I've got a propane fire trap. What I'll go ahead and do now is I'll pick up the other propane tank, and now I'm gonna use that to refuel. And uh, we're gonna go over here to this, man, it's so freaking dark. We're gonna go here over to this building, and you can utilize this let me take care of these guys. I don't need them in the way. Oops. Sorry. This is meant to be just a tutorial. Not me uh, shooting a bunch of zombies. But I got to get them out of the way. So the best way you can utilize it. You can utilize this in, in any number of ways. How you do it is entirely up to you. I normally use it on choke points um, when I'm battling the horde. And I usually will put up a barrier, and I'll put that like inside the barrier or right in front of it so that they have to stand inside the flames and take damage from the fire while they're trying to batter, batter down the, uh, the barricade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the propane tank uh, fire trap, and I'm going to place it. And uh, using your mouse wheel, you can rotate it for how you want to have it. So for this one, just, just for a test, I will put it right here. And you can see the uh, that angle iron on the ground. That's where the flames are going to come up. So I'll put it right here. So you can see it. And now that's placed. Now to, to refuel this is fairly simple. Uh, like I said, you'll need to have another propane tank. Because that's how you add fuel to it. If I, uh, if I hold E, to, you can interact, which means you can light it. Press E to open. So I'm going to open it up. And you can see it's got no fuel. Even though there were 13 in that tank, there's nothing in there. So I've got a... Uh, a propane tank in my inventory of 20 and you simply go over here to where the uh, fuel gauge is and you just sit plus and what that does you can see over here the numbers are dropping and it's adding it to the propane fuel to the propane fire trap so now it is completely full uh, and this is where the the lighter and or and or matches you can use either one come in handy now you can either start it by opening up the menu and pressing start or if you hold E Hold E. It lights, it lights it like that. And there's your propane fire trap. And anything going through that is going to get caught in flames. It's very loud, so I'm going to shut it down real quick. And what I would suggest is if you have one of these set up, you want to be careful where you're shooting. Because if I shot this by accident, it would explode. Now, it won't, I don't, it won't immediately explode. It'll do like, uh, you know, have the little flames coming out the top. And then you've got about five or so seconds to get out of the way before it explodes. All right, here we go. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. And you see that what that does? All that damage she's taken, done. She's dead. So that's how that stuff works. It's really actually really good. Now, I don't normally use the fire traps uh, just because it takes so much to get these things created and refueled and all that stuff. Um, I normally use just a campfire, and we'll cover that uh, another time. And that's simple. I would have just placed a campfire here, filled it with wood, and lit it. And they have to walk through it to come out. This does more damage, I believe. Now, in order to transport this, I cannot simply uh, pick it up. If I pick this up, all the fuel has the potential to disappear and be gone forever. So the best, my suggestion is before you pick up the propane fire trap, you want to have another fuel tank on hand, like I use that one, and uh, you simply remove the fuel from it and then take it. Can I not take it? There we go. I just had, I didn't have the room. There we go. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's how that's how you make refuel, transport, empty, light, all that stuff, and place. And like I said, you can place these things just about anywhere you want. You think that it'll be a, a great fit. Just be careful, like I said, that, that you don't shoot the propane tank itself um, because that will, uh, you know, it'll explode like a regular propane tank. So there, I hope that it was uh, helpful for you guys. And, um, you know, I'll have more videos like this about Survive the Nights in the future. And uh, but yeah, if it uh, if that worked out great for you, if you found something useful, uh, leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next tip, tricks, hints, and you know, everything else.